Google has just dropped a great translation model. This Translate Gemma represents Google's push to democratize high quality machine translation that can run on everyday hardware like laptop, desktop, or anywhere you would like. Built on the Gemma 3 Foundation model, Translate Gemma comes in three sizes 4 billion, 12 billion, and 27 billion parameter and supports translation across 55 languages. In this video, we are going to install it and we are going to test it on various languages. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. Please also follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates without any hype. So what Google has done here is not only to release this model, but also it has made it architecturally interesting with its two-stage training approach. First, supervised fine-tuning using a carefully curated mix of human translated text and synthetic parallel data generated by Gemini 2.5 Flash. And then a reinforcement learning phase that optimizes for translation quality using an ensemble of reward models you know, including metric X and various others. A clever innovation here is the use of token level advantages during reinforcement learning that allows fine grained span level reward signal for better credit assignment rather than just sequence level rewards. I will be talking more around its architecture and innovations but for now let's get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card and VDRTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Next, as usual, let's install all the prerequisites which include Torch and Transformer and then I am launching my Jupyter Notebook to download the model. While it runs, let's talk more around the architecture and other stuff of this model. So the model retains Gemma 3's multimodal capabilities, meaning it can not only translate text but also extract and translate text directly from images, all without any multimodal specific fine tuning. We will also test it out. And there are various benchmarks which they have shared where this translate Gemma shows substantial improvements over baseline Gemma 3 models. Especially the 27 billion version achieves a score of 3.09 compared to 4.04 for the base model. Lower is better, by the way. And I think the most practical finding is the efficiency gain. So smaller translate Gemma models often match or exceed larger baseline models, which is quite interesting. Also, one interesting bit is that the context is just 2K. Some people might think that, you know, the context window is too small. But if you really think about it for the practical purposes, 2K context length is around four to five pages of normal text. It should be plenty in my opinion for translation. And you can always do page by page with some carryover for context if it helps. So I think that is what makes sense to me, but I'm also keen to hear thoughts on this one. So let's go back and wait for Jupyter Notebook to get launched. And now let's download the model. And I'm going to go with the 4 billion one, which is still good enough. And the size on the disk is 8.6 gig. And the model is downloaded. Let's first do the text translation. So I'm just going to give it this check text. So my source language is Czech and the target language is German and all I'm doing I'm just passing it to the pipeline with just 200 tokens just to keep it simple and then printing the output text so this Czech text should be translated into this German text and this is the result and you can see that the result is spot-on I have checked it with Google Translate looks good to me but if you are a German speaker please also confirm Okay, now in the next one, let's translate one sentence, which is spend less than what you earn and invest the difference into all of these 55 supported languages of this model. 
and you can see it not only supports European languages, various Asian languages, some Latin American languages, even some regional Indian languages and then some Southeast Asian languages plus the Middle Eastern ones. So let's run this and it is running the translation and uh, please let you know help me out if you are that native language speaker because I cannot check all that all those 55 ones and by the way it takes a bit of a time very surprisingly so let me quickly show you the VRAM consumption to so consume just close to 17 gig of VRAM this 4 GP model so I think VRAM consumption is on the higher side but there might be some quantization available anyway so I will just let it run and then once it is done I will scroll through and show you the result and then you have to tell me okay so it has done few I will scroll through please check so Arabic is there and by the way I have checked few looks mint Danish Dutch Finnish and then French German you can see Greek is there Hebrew, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, uh, then Norwegian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian and Spanish and it is still going through it. I'm just going to check if it is done or no, it is still going through it. There is two Swedish now. And now we have Thai, Turkish and few others. Sorry, let me go down and show you. I think it finished maybe. So Thai is there, Turkish, Ukrainian, Vietnamese, Chinese, Afrikaans from South Africa and Albanian. So what do you think? Let me know. Um, next up, let me show you how to extract the text from image and then do the translation. And before that, it has done few more. Albanian is there, Amharic is there, Azerbaijani, Belarusian, Bulgarian, Catalan, Croatian, and then you see Estonian and Filipino, Georgian, Gujarati, Icelandic, Kannada, and then Kazakh. I'll just wait for a few more. And we have this Khmer, Latvian, Lithuanian, Macedonian. So Malayalam is here, Marathi, Mongolian, Nepali, and then Persian. So the accuracy is perfect, spot on. I mean, as far as I have tested and I have taken a lot of time behind the scene testing it. But and I will also take your advice. But there are two problems which I see with this model. One is the speed, as you can see. It is taking half a minute at least or even more for one language for such a small sentence. Maybe it is uh, double checking it. And then the VRAM consumption is quite high as we saw. Anyway, so Serbian is there. Slovak is there. And we have this Slovenian, Swahili, Tamil, and then Telugu and Urdu. And I believe that is all there is to it. Okay, now let's do the. Um, image to text one so I'm just going to use this local image from my system which is in Urdu language and this is the path to it all I'm doing I am showing it off and then from there I'm specifying the language code and then extracting the text out of it with that pipeline no major change in the code and that is really really flexible so let's run this Let's check the VRAM consumption if we could. I think it should be same. Yep, it's the same. Just 17 gig. There you go. So, if I just quickly check what exactly is the translation. And the translation is totally wrong. It is totally wrong in terms of this extraction maybe it is a font it, it it couldn't get but i have seen some models you know extracting that uh, urdu text so maybe let's try out another one maybe let's do an italian test so i'm just going to give it this italian one and because it the image is quite clear than the before so i'll just run this whole thing maybe 
just to show you how I maybe I'll remove this. We already have done this. Okay, so this is Italian text. Let's see if it is able to do it or not. And this time it has done a good job. The translation is excellent and accurate and you can compare it. I have done it with Google Translate and few other models and the model has correctly captured both the literal meaning and even the philosophical tone of the text. I think it's quite a high quality translation that preserves the nuance and flow of the original Italian. So as long as your image is good enough, your font is correct, the model will do best. That's it. Please let me know what you think. Again, please like the video and subscribe and please, please become a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.